Hello and welcome to the Essence of Knowledge weekly meeting. This meeting is a part of the Essence of Knowledge program which is available for free and it is completely online for the seekers of the path of knowledge. It is a complete program. Anybody who wants to join it can visit gyanmark.guru website and open an account there. In this meeting we do the questions and answers, help in the verification and uh, practices. and we also conduct exams so this was the introduction and if there are any questions they are most welcome bupen is asking i am in the step 2 and heard about meditation how can i meditate there is no meditation on the path of knowledge there is only awareness practice awareness practice is very simple it is doing your day to day activities in complete awareness in complete knowledge and that will be taught in uh, step number 4 keshav is saying in my awareness practice i recently noticed that sometimes there is virtual silencing of mind it is not the same as awareness am i progressing it is not related uh, to progress many things can happen in the mind so simply be aware of whatever happens there if there is a need to take an action take the action so what is the sign of progress not some kind of mental tricks sign of progress is increased happiness peace bliss increased intelligence lack of unnecessary desires detachment from the world these are signs of progress nothing else no amount of strange events is a sign of progress my suggestion is to note down these things which i listed so that in future you do not confuse anything else with progress okay neelam is saying when obstacles from external environment come in the spiritual journey then how to deal with them see them as illusory experience and do not do much about it and wait for favorable times or actively do something about removing them that completely depends on how important that is whatever obstacle you are facing because there will be always something if it is uh, causing inconvenience in your daily life then it is recommended to actively remove it if it is something which is uh, unimportant then uh, it goes away on its own now looking at them as illusory experience will not solve it because everything is illusory experience obstacle and the person who got it external environment the whole drama is illusory so treating one part of it as illusory will not solve it in the illusion only the illusion will work illusory obstacle illusory person who is facing it who is troubled by it and then illusory actions to remove it that will work nothing else will work what happens is knowing that it is illusory makes you calm and quiet while doing the necessary action or while waiting for it to go away it does not agitate you that much but you will need to act there is no escape from action as long as there is this body and mind and world all the actions must be done it is possible for a person with this knowledge and who is in awareness to wait for a long time that is the advantage because there is this knowledge that it is illusory which simply means it is impermanent it goes away so because we know this thing that nothing will last we do not feel a need to act impulsively we can wait for a while and yes it goes away sometimes there is urgency sometimes it is very important for example a disease some pain in the body now if it is not so severe you can wait it it goes away it heals but uh, if it is not going away that means you must take action action here is visiting the doctor taking the medicine it is very simple pain is illusory disease is illusory the body is illusion but uh, the action and uh, the consequences uh, they are also illusions and the law of uh, action works here karmic law if you don't do anything that is also an action and it also has consequences 
so no escape we are not saved from actions just because we got the knowledge so the key word here is importance necessity how important how necessary it is to act there sometimes i um, suggest people to make a list of necessary actions what is necessary in your life when you should act when you must act food clothes house job family write down all those things in these these, these matters non action is useless and then also write down what is totally unnecessary and uh, keep leaving the unnecessary for example party every week and necessary every month is okay i think spending money on useless things cut it down so when you cut down all that is unnecessary you will find that 90% of your obstacles and problems they go away because the nature mother nature is not intentionally bad that it is giving you obstacles and it is giving you problems no it is a perfect system why are there obstacles why are there problems or external issues uninvited somewhere something unnecessary was done you need to trace it down what actions are the cause of these troubles and do not do it if it is unnecessary sometimes there are some things which are enjoyable but not necessary just now i gave an example of a party or music or watching a movie or going for a trip picnic somewhere they are totally unnecessary but then the life becomes boring without them the mind feels depressed if it does not get all that excitement so yes you can put that in the category of necessary little bit of entertainment joy in life pursuing your hobbies and so on meeting people you like these things you can say are in middle if they don't happen no problem but they, if they don't happen at all then the life becomes boring the, there is no juice in the life now although you are you are peaceful you are happy you are, everything is there but no excitement in the life so remember that uh, doing these things also causes consequences there are always consequences but they will be very small that can be handled but doing something which is totally unnecessary will cause lots of problems so in summary you can say the keyword is necessity importance uh, decide on that how to act and the second main point is making a list of what is necessary what is unnecessary and the third point is uh, keep some things some unnecessary things in your life that are joyful enjoyable so it all boils down to what is your preallocation and to find your preallocation there is a tool in on our website it is called preallocation which is helpful in finding probably everybody knows their preallocation by now but those who don't know what is most necessary that tool helps you to find out by elimination of unnecessary that which you cannot eliminate from your life is your preallocation that does not mean the basic needs which are needed for the body as something more than that basic needs are not really the preallocation they are needs they, they are needed to simply stay alive preallocation is something which must be done over and above the basic survival that is preallocation so that tool will help everybody to find their preallocation and now that is most necessary most of you have a preallocation which is spiritual progress knowledge now that much is out of the way because you found your path you found a guru you found the knowledge probably that much is over or is going to be over very soon now the rest will be manifested it will manifest in your life whatever is remaining so that becomes necessary yes everybody should do a little bit of thinking about their preallocation especially after achieving self knowledge self realization for a seeker usually it is giving up letting go usually their preallocation is seen like this that everything is going away just like i said first they will leave all that is unnecessary in three steps then they will leave 
that which they thought is necessary then finally they will leave the world they will never appear here as the same individual so that is traditional liberation which many past teach so what are the three steps of leaving the unnecessary there are three kinds of unnecessary actions the first is anything any attachments any actions that are causing suffering very easy to let go leave it completely second is neutral life goes on without them and they are not that painful but they are not giving you anything also they are not uh, joyful they are not a source of happiness also so the next step is to get rid of them because they are causing more accumulation which will appear as your next prolongation so let go of them and the third which is very difficult is to let go of all those attachments and actions that are causing happiness that we think is the cause of our happiness these take a lot of time and usually people do not let go of them until they become a source of suffering because that is also a law of the mind that things reverse ultimately it goes in cycles whatever was giving you a lot of happiness becomes Uh, suffering it will it happens by itself but uh, any intelligent seeker is the one who can see that yes it is going to happen any day and then leaves it voluntarily instead of waiting for it to become a suffering so before it becomes suffering there are signs and those who have awareness can see the sign it is very very uh, personal and there are no general rules here but this is how it will happen the general rule is that this is how will it will happen for all of the seekers why is it not happening for me there can be this kind of question and the another rule is nobody knows when when it will happen everybody has a different kind of prelocation so the timeline is different for everybody but the same thing happens to everybody this is the law when not fixed what that is fixed so many people have this kind of must be having this kind of experience and this is also my experience spiritual journey is journey of leaving not gaining we never gain anything in this journey and path of knowledge will accelerate these things success on the path can be measured by how much you left like he was saying am i progressing <laughs> how much have you left how empty are you becoming final thing that will leave is the body the world probably after that we don't know actually there is no direct experience after that but it is a journey from the individual limited to universal unlimited it is not actual journey it is also part of the dream it is illusion but that is how the illusion happens since on the path of knowledge we come to know that i am already universal this becomes very high speed journey it is like a rocket that is the quality of the path of knowledge it is the final path nothing is as fast and effective as the path of knowledge now many people will think no it is not happening for me then you must reconsider because path of knowledge is not for everyone reconsider whether this path is for me or not and take the proper path yes it is very beautiful this is a shared journey everybody is going through this journey everybody means every seeker if this is your path the path of knowledge you will begin to see the fruits there will be no doubts in your mind no doubt about the knowledge no doubt about the truth no doubt about whether i am progressing or not no doubt about what is necessary and what is not necessary it will be crystal clear no fog in the mind that is the sign that i have taken the right path else there is something else you should take something else usually a student cannot see it they get whatever they they think is attractive and they continue but a guru can see it very easily still if people come to the path of knowledge we never refuse except in very worse cases <laughs> where it will be complete time waste and we uh, provide them the knowledge you see in the most uh, easiest way possible but if it did not bring any kind of satisfaction that means it was not for you another good thing in path of knowledge is you will come to know this in within one year at most 
like after doing this program or uh, listening to a few teachers if you're not in the program in one or two years it will become very clear if this is for me or not but in case of other paths it can take uh, many years 10 20 30 or sometimes many lifetimes because they are progressive paths they are long paths there are some brilliant students there there also There's no doubt about it there are people who immediately come to know yes because of their past experiences but uh, path of knowledge gives you instant yes or no answer so no no waste of time here okay i think um, there are no more questions today which is a good thing so we can uh, end today's meeting here thank you everybody for attending the meeting i'll see you next time namaste